hate the smell of this neighborhood. Good evening, Detective Gallo. What lovely circumstances bring you here? Nothing lovely at all, Candy Bob. How's business going? My booth heats up only when you're around. I understand. You're talking about the party the cockroaches are throwing around here. Don't you feel any danger in this infamous part of the city? No, because I know you're nearby, ready to protect me. And when I'm not around? I have your photo. That fearsome look in your eyes drives every bad guy far away. It's my normal expression. Oh. Have you ever thought about moving to another planet, um, neighborhood? I'm fine here. I'm right near your office. That's why Thorn and I are always around to solve misdeeds. Can you give me... A chocolate muffin with chili pepper? It has the power to spice up the soul. In my line of work, you have to swallow bitter things. Very bitter. Then I can offer you some delicious heart-shaped donuts. Isn't that romantic? Romanticism and I are worlds apart. Or I could... Listen, Candy. What I want from you is the photo of me which is on your booth. Oh, I'm sorry, Gallo. If I gave that to you, the soul of this booth would go away with you. Unless you can find something even bigger. Maybe I'm in the way here. You always talk like this, but then you come back. I won't be deprived of the only way to keep you with me. Unless you can find something even bigger. I'd love to, but it goes against my professional ethics and against my sense of compassion for subnormal hens. Oh, you're so romantic. Precisely. I found a candle for cakes, or perhaps I should say the mouse hole chandelier. Rule number 122 of Gallo. Never trust kids that look all right. <sighs> Hello, little one. Being a tad taller doesn't entitle you to treat me like a fool. You have a loose tongue, brat. The world forces you to grow up fast. You don't even have time to change your pacifier and you're out of a job. Everyone thinks a newborn can't be a part of adult society. They're right. They underestimate me, though. I have a lot of innate qualities. I can paint very well, for example. Boy, what a rebel talent. If only I had the opportunity, I'd subvert the established order. Now you're going too far. This world doesn't leave any space for the young. And for the very young like me, I foresee very tough times. Have you got a purpose for your lonely existence, or are you just an insolent good for nothing? Of course. I'm trying to rob this pirate gadget vending machine. As soon as I find a way to do that, I'll go storm the entire world. Can you paint my face on the wall of my office? No. First, I need a favor. Which is? Help me rob this vending machine. And then we'll talk about it. We'll meet again. I hope not. I doubt I'd get any other clients if I did that. <sighs> the hard-earned gadgets are always the best. Hey, how do you do that? You'll know as soon as your first tooth comes in. Why don't you take that wooden leg, too? If there's one thing I hate most in the world, it's pink. Hello, little one. Being a... Can you paint my face on the wall of my office? I robbed the vending machine for you. You owe me a favor. I need a paintbrush with soft bristles and a long handle. Otherwise, 
You can forget about your pretty painted face. Pretty face? Do you prefer mug? The new generations feed on both milk and cynicism. No doubt about it. Now that you've got your pirate gadgets, what will you do? I'll stay here to avoid suspicion. The adults were watching me. <laughs> if they knew I robbed this vending machine. I robbed it. But I can't show it yet. At the right moment, I'll unleash all my subversive energy. Okay. Warn me right before the apocalypse. We'll meet again. I hope not. You never know. Good evening. Are you... The best stocked wholesaler in the city. Precisely. Nice guy. To satisfy a customer, he'd sell his mother half price. Do you really have everything for everybody? Or is that just a publicity stunt? It's pure marketing. It works, don't you think? Goodbye. Say hello to your cactus. I don't deal in firearms. Here comes the pacifist. Ecologist, please. Gunpowder pollutes the environment. Really tacky. It was found by Special Agent Chick Mulder. Of course, I want to believe. An old spring model. It looks unbearable, even when it isn't ringing. Excuse me. I'd like to buy everything in here without paying cash. Don't worry, we give credit to those who have a generous advance like yours. But how did you? I have a nose for my clients' needs. It's a matter of professionalism and experience. Strong, but too heavy for my liking. For sports, I mean. It belonged to the notorious Stephen C. Gallo. Seems soft and handy. And with high quality bristles, perfect for every type of paint. Rule number 56 of Gallo. Better bristle up your crest than wear fake hair. Light and sharp. This fork and knife set belong to Jean Poulet, the famous French chef. Unconventional, but effective use of the barbecue. Wax on. It's an idiotic action. Wax off. It's nice. It looks so frail. It cost me more than this whole store. If you so much as try to touch it, I'll eliminate your very name from the face of the earth. Come see us again. We restock our supply constantly. Now the bristles are dipped with paint. Perfect example of a telescopic paintbrush. Can you paint my face on the wall of my office? Okay. I'll customize the wall of your office before you can say wow. Wow. Already done. If you don't believe me, go check. How to ruin the profile of a tough guy. Oh. Regretfully, but with all my heart, I'm giving you this beloved photo. Finally, I'm taking back what is mine.
rule number 991 of Gallo. You don't have a good side, just pick one. Now my photo is in the envelope. Good. The envelope is now sealed. Now I have to wait for the reply by fax. Hmm. Maybe I should have taken the photo from the heart-shaped frame. Here's the smuggler's membership card. I can't see any secret passphrase. How can I get in the smuggler ring? Anyway, I have the feeling I'm already very popular among them. A good exchange, I'd say. It doesn't turn off. It's a continuous consumption model. Every time I want to turn off the light, I have to contact the electric company. Eddie and Son Courtesy Service. How can I help you? Cut the power. We're sorry. It's already been paid for the next month. If you don't do it, I will drag your company through the mud, you disgusting leeches. We're used to threats. That's how the free market works. And if I just want to terminate the contract? We can interrupt energy provision only if we have evidence you've made excessive use of the electric current. We're sorry. I'm the one who's sorry. But in exchange for such a service, we at Eddie & Son will send you the exclusive Bright Spotlight. Perfect in its power and illumination, sent directly to your office. Immediate delivery. Now I understand why you call yourselves courtesy service. Detective Gallo, home delivery! I must say, the service is quick. <coughs> and precise. In the assembly kit, there were just three pieces and no bolts. But there's a complimentary gummy ball. Why do the gadgets always have to be so useless? Here we are. It'll stay sticky for the rest of its life. Now the spotlight would stand on its own. First, I have to know where to connect the other end. Only by doing so can I direct the flow of electricity to the spotlight. That puddle could be a good conductor, but I have to connect it to the outlet as well. This jolt has not gone unnoticed by the electric company. Here's the secret passphrase. The more mature the Kiwis are, the more I'm crazy about them. Now I really feel like a smuggler. It was a nice piece of technology. Eddie and Sun Courtesy Service. I want my electricity back. Now. The service will be restored immediately after the call. We remind you that we will stop it again if we will find evidence you are making excessive use of the electric current. I'll take only one. I bought them as furniture and to intimidate unwanted visitors. Before we had the cardboard cutout idea, I mean. The more mature the Kiwis are, the more I'm crazy about them. As you can see, I'm an authorized dealer. And I'm a baby punk. Do you know any dealers in this area? No, not even one. For now, you're just a nice waste of time. The more
more mature the Kiwis are, the more I'm crazy about them. I was just looking for you. I recognize you now. You're the supplier who sold me many damaged goods. No, I... You must give me a lot of money back. I'll be right back. I quadruple parked out there. mature the Kiwis are, the more I'm crazy about them. I feel the same way about detectives. Okay, I will rule her out of the list of potential smugglers. Yeah? I'm Detective Gallo. mature the Kiwis are, the more I'm crazy about them. Are you still talking to your cactus? It doesn't matter. The more mature the Kiwis are, the more I'm crazy about them. You did the right thing by showing your badge. Too many undercover cops are making our lives difficult. What about the detectives? Good for nothings. Just pretend to be asleep and you'll fool them like babies. I'm one of those good-for-nothings who will shove this shell casing up your nose if you don't tell me everything you know. Slow down, Big Beak. Don't threaten the goods. I dream of becoming rich and leaving this filthy city forever. I used to be the king of the thieves. Now I'm the emperor of alternative arms trafficking. Well... Now I have everything I need to prosecute you. Who are you? I'm Detective Gallo. He is Thorn. And you are in a lot of trouble. Confess. Phil Chloro is a vegetal slaver. He keeps his treasures locked in a prison. So you did not assassinate his plants? They were already dead when I got in. And I was just about to save them. Free them from their oppressor. With a Veg 68 bullet? Very explosive gunshot, made in 1968, if you please. Infallible in piercing armored metal boxes. If I'd have been able to break into his precious chest, Phil Chloro would have died of a broken heart. But the chest was made of ceramic. So you came up empty-handed. But then I noticed a strange stain on the floor. A stain? Interesting clue. I'm always amazed by my unsuspected persuasive abilities. I made you sing like a little chick. No ability at all, Detective Gallo. I'm just happy to please someone sentenced to death. This is not an ordinary weapon. It's a Baobab loaded gun. I should pull out my gun, but I'm not sure that would be a good idea. <laughs> It always amuses me to look my victims in the eye. I have some very <laughs> secret information about the money delivery. Even little chicks know that the armored truck is disguised as a florist van, but it never passes by. Actually, now it's stuck at the traffic light. Really? Rule number 101 of Gallo. Don't shoot your mouth, shoot bullets. Please, don't do that. I still have some goods to smuggle. Two loan sharks to pay and a boss to please. Okay, get lost. <laughs> Rule number 595 of Gallo. If it doesn't suit you, let it go. The membership card and the shell casing helped me to find a fanatic who wanted to shoot a Baobab bullet through my head. But he wasn't the perpetrator I was looking for. And now I have a new lay, a stain in the mansion. Yes? I'm Gallo. I have important updates on the case. S so soon? I understand you're surprised. My investigative skills surprise me too.
I d d don't know how to thank you for. The taxi driver told me that there was a strange stain on the floor. So he really b b broke into my mansion. That c c criminal. Thief, but not murderer. Besides, you altered the crime scene. Where's the stain the taxi driver's talking about? This one, maybe? It's always b b been here. It's an invigorating fertilizer. I often use this to st strengthen my children. It doesn't seem like it worked. I need to know if the fertilizer is the murder weapon. Luckily, I have me to encourage myself. Where did you buy the invigorating fertilizer? From everything for everybody. The b b best stocked emporium in the city. Are you sure they didn't sell you some poison? Of course not. Cucumber sure. Which means guaranteed 100%. I found out that the taxi driver wanted to rob you, not kill your plants. He was my chauffeur. Maybe he wanted to, to, to take revenge. Did you treat him badly? I treat my employees like I d d d do strangers. I'm starting to understand the taxi driver's reasons. The chest must contain something very precious. Extremely rare seeds. Which could be sold dearly on the black market? Of course. This explains the attempt at burglary. I'll get back to my investigation. I need to discover whether the fertilizer is poisonous. If that's the case, I will have found the murder weapon. That vase could be useful. It's too late for this bonsai anyway. D don't you offend the memory of my trapezium dwarfus! Now I can take the fertilizer with me.